Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing and review of the Bot Botanical Inspirations deck by Lynn Araujo. Now I love this floral. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now I bought this off of Etsy and it's probably my fault. I should have done more research on it or something, but I found it really cheap <laughs> and I got it. Now I thought this was going to come in a, in a sturdier box. I've seen pictures of it. Of course, this isn't it, but I thought it was going to come in a box like this, you know, with a, a sturdy, a sturdy lid and a sturdy box and all that, but it didn't. It came in this tuck box, which is fine. I have nothing against it. I absolutely love the cards and it's good quality. I just don't know if I got maybe a, a good quality knockoff version of it. But anyway, let's get into the cards. So all these flowers are actually painted by an artist called Pierre Joseph Rodette. Uh, Rodette. I'm not sure how to pronounce that fully. I don't fully speak French. <laughs> so if I butcher that, I apologize. But um, the person who put it together is Lynn Araujo. But the, the paintings themselves are by Pierre Joseph. All right. So they are 44 cards into it. Now it says here there's a 100 page illustrated guidebook. This guidebook is a PDF. Um, or maybe again, I don't know if I got a knockoff version of it, but I do have, see, scan to download guidebook. I do have this QR code. So I can get the guidebook online. It does have a little something in here. So let's open it up first. It's just your little tuck box, nothing too fancy or special, but I do love the box. I mean, this, these flowers and the colors are just really cute to me. But you do get this. You do get this little fold out and it has enough better core order of the flowers and their keywords you have in the back as well to fit all of them. So this is your guidebook. <laughs> but you can also scan it for a bigger, longer version of the guidebook. Here are the backs. I find this back to be pretty cute. Nothing impressive. I do like this, you know, just a, a, a hint of the flowers in the back. They are smaller. I do have a irregular right away Smith Tarot here, and they are smaller. And the cards are smaller than your regular tarot standard size, but that's okay. That doesn't really bother me that much. These are the backs. The cardstock is actually pretty sturdy. It's flexible, but not too much. Very, very sturdy. Okay. So I will be showing you guys all 44 cards. If you don't want to see them, you can skip this part altogether, or you can you know, skip ahead a little bit, but I will show you all of them. Okay. So this you have about the illustrator, Pierre Joseph. And then on the other side, you just have your, your back. I don't know if there's another. No, that's the only one. Okay. So here we go. You have the name of the flower, Peony. And then you have the um, the Latin name for it. Then you have the Pierre Joseph illustration. Then you get two keywords, prosperity and compassion, and a quote. All of them have a quote by just different people. So prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Unknown. Bellflower, Campanula, okay. The keyword is gratitude. Then you have a quote for gratitude. Iris, rainbows and messages. Tulip, friendship and gratitude. I love these paintings. These flowers are just really, really beautiful to me. And I love also what the artist did, uh, Lynn, Lynn Araujo. I, she's the one that kind of put all this together. And I love this sepia old paper tone. First emotions of love for lilac. I love that. So it's a very soft deck, which I would expect from a deck, you know, about flowers. And especially if you're looking for something a little bit softer, <laughs> if you're looking, you know, if you don't want tarot, that's going to kind of like call you out. Um, this deck it will be definitely gentle for you. <laughs> Asters, the red rose. There are a few roses in here, which I love because roses are my favorite flower. Roses and tulips. So you have pink rose, you have a red rose. 
think there's a yellow rose in here too. We'll get there, of course. As you can see, they're not in order <laughs> because I've used this deck a few times. It's simple. I like its simplicity. I like that you have a beautiful image, you have your keyword, and you have a quote. Um, the quote can also evoke some emotions, right? It's like a little bit like a, just a one-sentence one poetry, if you will. White rose, new start and wisdom. And the beautiful butterflies too, gorgeous. Oh, a Lao Tzu quote, love it. New beginnings are after disguise as painful endings for daffodil, <laughs> right? Every beginning is an end and then every ending is a new beginning for sure. But yeah, it's just a small, cute little deck. And if you're looking for some gentle guidance or even just an encouraging quote, Gallantry, grant me a single smile. <laughs> That's really sweet. Tuberose, honeysuckle, devoted affection, domestic happiness. I've never heard of this flower, phlox. But I like that. Crocus, cheerfulness. Yellow rose, enthusiasm and friendship. Hibiscus. It's funny, when I first saw this one and I thought the hibiscus looked so thin compared to today, they're, I don't know, more open and bigger. Um, again, I guess this guy painted, actually, I don't know when he was around, this Pierre Joseph guy. Maybe, maybe the flowers have <laughs> blossomed or shifted in some way. Snapdragon. Graciousness and benevolence. Hydrangeas. Who doesn't love hydrangeas? They're so beautiful. False indigo. Always joyful. <laughs> A dahlia, dignity, and finally the anemone. <laughs> anemone is anticipation. I felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big. How cool is that? All right, guys. Well, here we go. Um, I was telling you guys when this guy was around, but here you have, he was born in 1759 and died in 1840. And then you get a little bit of his story. Um, he loved painting flowers, illustrating roses. I, I believe roses were his favorite as well. But yeah, so here is the, I like how it says here, the secret language of flowers. How beautiful is that? So this was the review and unboxing of the Botanical Inspirations by Lynn Araujo. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day out there.